so let us not waste the time and start this session so as you can see my screen there is some piece of data there I have put some dates some names and some sales figure in sales figure you can see there is a formula rand between it is a formula for generating random values I just I, uh, most of the time I use it for generating data so when we use copy paste so all formatting and all number formatting and the values and formula get pasted but in paste special we have choice that what we want to paste so let us take an example when we uh, right click I, I have copied when we right click and go to paste special and we choose value for pasting values but we can see there are values get pasted but you can see there is a, a, the sales figures are in two decimal format and the date uh, date is totally disturbed ok not only the color font is a part of format hello 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 ok I can hear you uh, not only the color I can hear you can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hmm. So, I was saying that not only the font color is the part of formatting. This number, this for this type of decimal places and the date figures is also part of formatting. These are called number format. See why it is called number formatting because we have a number tab where we have currency format, percentage, date, time and lot of more options in format cell. This is number tab and this is all called number formatting. So this is a different kind of formatting we are dealing with. When we are dealing with data in Excel, so we have to remember there are a lot of types of values such as dates, decimal place, decimal percentage, currency and type. So we want to copy our data as values but we want to preserve that number format so that my date should not be disturbed and the decimal position should not be disturbed but this format I don't want to be pasted here so for that yeah. option in paste special we just copy it and where we want to paste it just right click there and go to paste special or you can go from there also in home tab you have paste button and you have paste special here also so the third option we have values but we have to preserve number formatting also so we will use this option values and number format ok when we do it what happens the date format is preserved here the decimal format is also here okay but the formula is not here one more problem we are seeing here that when we copy paste the data the column settings we need to do many times this is a small amount of data these three columns I can set up easily but uh, what about then when we are using dash data so what is the shortcut we have in paste special we have one other the option column width when you select column width the column settings only get pasted you need not to worry about uh, consuming a lot of time of formatting data setting up this column width so we can easily paste only our column width by just this but why are the values changing? Um, in the first table, Sandeep has 13 in the sales and now he has uh, 64. Correct. Actually, uh, 
I told you that this is a formula. I need to tell you about this. Okay, formula. random numbers. Okay. So it's changing all the time. Correct. Because uh, this rank between formula takes two figures. Bottom value and top value. So I am, what I am doing here, I am generating the random value between 10 to 90. Yes, I have seen the formula. Uh, so, when I do anything here, it get repressed and it change the value. That's why it is keep changing. Okay. So I just data creation. Because I don't want to type so much time of useless data. So I have used this formula for that. But it is useful for So we got to know we can paste number formatting as well with values and the column width. But more options available with paste special. We have this formula. This formula is like a general copy paste, but it is more concerned about formula. It leaves the formatting, but paste the formula as well. And if you want to uh, preserve the number formatting also, we have that formula and number format option in paste request. Most of the time, normal copy paste. So, we have another option, all except border. You accept borders, everything will be pasted here. Either it is formula, value, format, everything. Color, everything, even the color. What's that? I said even the color, everything will be pasted, yeah. Correct. Uh, but not the column bit. Then we have option all using source key. See, this option we don't use, but I tell you. This is about themes. There we use themes. In case layout option, we have some theme. But these themes we mostly use in PowerPoint for creating presentation. So we never use Excel, so you don't need that. Then what more we have? So let's take a look here. So under this first option, we have partition of uh, Excel data. Like we want to paste all, means everything. Then we have formula, for formula only, value for value only, such as we have formats. So everything will be pasted here, every format. The same format you can paste. Like that, if you want to paste the format, so go to formats, and then the formatting will be pasted. Sometimes we and we want to paste the same comment with the air. So what usually we right click on that where we have comment, go to edit comment and then copy and go to insert comment and update So it's a very long process. But quickly, if you want to paste the same formatting, just copy it and right click, go to paste it like that, you have comment on So it will be directly pasted here. You can see the same thing. Sometimes we put validation in Excel. You may be knowing web validations, I guess. Do you know data validation? Data validation, yeah, I do. So, in data validation, we need not to do uh, validation a lot of time. If we have option, if we have applied validation in one cell, so we can apply in another cell also. Just copy the data where you have validation. I have a drop down list in validation. If I just copy 
So you can paste validation also. So till now we are facing. Okay. Hello. Hi. Yes. I can hear you. What sir? I can hear you. I said so. We can paste comments. We can paste formats. And we can copy paste. Uh, data validation also. Now we can paste validation. Alright. Validation. In validation you have seen. Here I have validation. In validation uh, I can't put any other value except validated value. So I can copy and paste as well where I need validation. The same validation. So I have this validation option, I click OK. So I have validation here. This drop down. I can't enter any other way. This error method. Okay. Am I clear till now? What? Am I clear till now? Of course. Ah. So let's move. I know all these things. I, I know I know most of them already, but it's okay. Okay, okay. So let's move to some work, actual work, what we do in usually in office. See we have a sample sales figure which I have created through some manual slips, just like data entry. Uh, okay. So Later on, I, I found that some of the sales is not added here. So I listed the values in the next cell. Okay. Now I want to add these numbers into this sales. Okay. For suppose in 52, I want to add this 12. In 65, I want to add this 32. Like this, I want to do. So, you want to what? You want to add what? Uh, add this uh, parallel values. This 12 into 52, 32 into 65 is 41 into. Okay. 12. So what we you okay. do? What is the shortest shortest way for doing that? What? What is the shortest way for doing that? All equals. Uh, no, uh, you, you want to say that I just put a formula here and add, add this and I... No, can you do all equals, all equals, it will just give it, okay? No, no, you are, you are saying this, no? Some. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, I just want to say that these things to be added here. Okay. okay. So you want to say that alt equal and then drag it and then copy and paste the values here. Am I right? Copy yeah. is the value. Any other short? Oh, so sorry, what, what, did, what did you do again? Go, show me again, sorry. See, I just... Yeah, I know the alt equal. Alt uh -huh. equal mm -hmm. uh, enters uh, some formula here. Okay. Then yeah. I drag the formula, then yes. I copy and paste as values here. That's what you want to say, that that's how I will get these values. Yes. Any other shortest way? Um, that's the shortest for me, all equals, I just add it. <laughs> oh. Okay, I tell you. Let us copy this. When we are going to paste the same values there, means I want to add these values into this. So you, we can do with copy paste also. I okay. 
copied the data right click here yeah. go to paste special and so we have some operations here so we can add by default it is none but when you set it to add so it will add this value into sales let's see okay uh, that's interesting okay but uh, now I don't want to add I want to replace the value in place of 52 I want 12 then what you will do okay do you have anything for that to replace yes no I don't I don't see I take copy copy paste, also. Copy, paste. Uh, copy paste uh with copy paste we can do but how <laughs> That's what I was. Okay, I first tell you with formula that most of the intelligent people how they do it. They do uh, if formula. They will select this that if C1 equal to blank, then they will take this value. Otherwise, this C value. So they will get the values and again copy paste. But that's how the intelligent one do. Yes, that can work. That can work. Yes, that can work. If but, error is zero, um, okay, yeah, I can say if uh, C two is blank, yes, choose B two. Understand that? Yeah. Uh, if okay. not, choose C two. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But it takes mind and time, okay, and practice. But the shortest way why don't we use copy paste because when we copy the data and we are going to paste these blank values get pasted there if we have some solution that this blank value should not get how did you do that again how did you do show me again sorry how did you do that again uh, no just i have okay. copied that copy. data. I, normally i am copying pasting okay so yeah. what problem occurs here that this blank values gets, get pasted on our data. This is the problem in replacement. Specifically this blank value if we have a, any data yeah. that we can copy mm -hmm. blank values to be copied there so we can solve our purpose. So we have just copy the data right click go to paste special and here we have an option skip blanks that will stop the blanks to be pasted there I'm clicking OK and see this is it clear sir? very clear and it will take some seconds only <laughs> Now, when we have sales, then uh, we can, you increase, can you increase the volume of your speakers? Uh, your, can you increase? I, I am speaking at, uh, I am speaking loudly. <laughs> oh. So, I am saying that if we have sales, then we have target also. See, most of the time, what we do with sales data, we. Uh, try to get this achievement percentage that how much how much achievement we have done to target so what we do what the people do for this they put a formula equal to this sales divide by this target fix it yeah and then drag it and then we do this percentage sign in number formatting for getting the percentage but I have a solution with my paste copy paste things also so I am what I am going to do I am just copying this sales figure and pasting as it is in achievement then I am copying the target and selecting the achievement range and what I am going to do, right click, paste special, 
divide because we are doing divide in our formula. Okay, so I selected divide in operations. Okay, and then percentage. Within few seconds, you will get all the achievements. Okay. Let's take another scenario. In practical, we don't have an equal target for everyone. We have separate targets for every employee. Because someone is Superman, then other one is He-Man. Like this. They are charging different range of salary, so the target is also different. So here I have divided 200 into this figure, all sales figure. Now I have a separate figure for every salesperson. So what we are going to use here, again the simple, same thing, just copy the sales value and achievement. Then I am copying the whole target. The paste special works as we are going to use the same option divide, but and using the same percentage option. But what is the difference here? It is sorry, I didn't hear you. So okay, okay, I uh, tell you again. I'm I, I've I've just repeated the same thing. Uh, okay. I'm just okay. yeah, yeah. sales figure into achievement and then copying the all targets, then selecting the achievement range, and then selecting the divide option, okay, and then percentage. What happened here, the 47 get divided by 240, 62 get divided by 181. When you have similar range of target and similar range of sales, so it get divided by parallel values okay it behaves like this if you select copy single value it will divide single value with all the values when you are selecting the range it will take the parallel values okay in another scenario we have three day sales and three days of different different targets. So I likewise I said that we have parallel equations everywhere. So here it will also work parallelly. I just copy the target select the achievement in paste special divide that's okay and the percentage that each one of the sales target get divided by its relevant value ok sir mm -hmm. this example is clear to you I can't hear you again very well I, I didn't can you do that uh, last ok sorry can you go back by two minutes please I'll be one minute you said this last act, um, Achievement one, two, three. I didn't see how. I didn't understand how you feel that cell. Okay, okay. I do it again. <laughs> I'm just copying the sales value to achievement. I'm doing the same thing here. Just selecting the target, then selecting the achievement percentage, and then right click on paste special and selecting. Value. No, sorry. We we'll stop. Sorry, uh, Sandeep, can you stop? I see you copy for sales one, two, three. Uh -huh. You paste on the achieve one, two, three, right? Uh -huh. You now copy. So, okay, you did divide. Yes, same. Yes, option. yes. Okay, so I can see it. So, okay, so it is okay. divide, and then you choose this percentage symbol. Yes, percentage. Yes, yes, yes. So it will be parallelly divided with everything like 47 will be divided by 203, 21 will be divided by 213, 37 yes, yes. 230. So just to make you clear about this divide option, this operations, I have given this example. Okay. Now let's take another scenario. As you are a financial expert, so 
you need to uh, do some financial reports also the same sales figures I have taken and pasted here now I need value in crores for press release or for my financial report I want the value to be shown in value in crore like we have or million billion what you do so like 1.5 million or 6.5 million like this you want to show so in the in that situation we also divide I have just written one crore figure here I copied that selected the whole data where I need that then go to paste special and divide this one crore will be divided by every thing every value and what value I will get get, get in figures like 6.0 crore 4.3 crore like this okay okay so you you use uh, the uh, 10 million to divide everything at once so you select and select everything correct like this. Mm. so here I have shown you the examples of uh, uh, dividing the things but it is all about values here we have value and there also we have values but let's see this is a total of them and I need only total to be calculated like this in uh, crore or 10 million okay but we have a formula here so I don't want to disturb the formula that what formula here it should be remaining here because I may be using linking here but I need to divide with 10 million or 1 crore so what I will do with F2 I will fix this divide sign and then type this like this and if I have lots of formulas then it will be time consuming but I need to do in one go so just same thing copy that value select the formula fields go to paste special and then divide no other thing no, stop do it. sorry do it again do it again sorry sorry before you do it paste special ah, yes. yeah, you pick copy the 1 crore value select the formula there I have formula ok so copy all the values uh, yeah. first copy the 10 million then uh -huh. you copy the whole total value uh -huh. then you go to pay special and you divide uh, then divide only ok so you can see a change here that my sum formula is replaced by uh, some formula is there but uh, uh, divide 1 crore is also there in formula Okay. So yes, I can see the formula. Okay. I, I can see it, Sandeep. Huh? So you pick the ten million, Sandeep. Yes, yes, yes. You pick the ten million, you divide by the total, then you divide, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, you, you understood that? What I want to show you? No, I, I understand you. I can hear you. Okay. okay. Uh, is, uh, there is some problem with the screen or screen delay and voice coming after a screen like this? Hello? I'm here. I'm here. Ah. So let's move to another level. Now you may be familiar with linking also. Okay. How we link the values? Generally, how we link? We use equal to and we take reference of this, like this cell, and then we drag it. Okay. So I get the values but I need to format so I know that how to format the cells just copy 
and go to paste special go to format go to paste special and copy the column width okay so these things i have done first but there is a problem when i have to link the short piece of data small piece of data then it is very easy i know how how much i have to drag down and drag drag right but when we have large data we don't uh, we need to count every time that how, ma how many columns are there how many cells are there because if i drag it more than the range the value will be different because it's zero so what is the solution for that so that we can paste the exact amount of data with linking just copy the data right click here go to paste special and we have paste link option okay then we can use our formats and cell width etc column width okay so this is the perfect way to link the data the specific data so i have link what is the benefit of linking if i change the value here so it can changes in the link also you are familiar with it? i use this one very well huh? i use this one very well i use this one very well what sir i use this one to link my i, I use it to link my tables uh, if i'm going for a presentation i use it to link my tables to um uh, powerpoint or uh, um for that uh, publisher i use it a lot so i know this one very well ah uh, uh, so you can use it you can use the link also i use the same thing yes out control v ah uh, no 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 that's, that's the keyboard shortcut out, out control v alt control v for what so copy it do or out control v yeah once you copy it you do out control v where you want to paste it you see paste link okay let me try alt control v or v bombay after, after copy it you do out control v control v no alt Alt. Control V, hold it together. Okay, Alt Control. Alternate Control V. Yeah. Okay. Alt Control. Press and B. Nothing happening. Alt Control V. Yes. Alt Control D. I don't know how you are doing it. Yes, V. V for. Not D for dog. V for uh, Viper. Viper. Alt control V. No. Okay, don't worry. Just continue. Continue. Okay, just leave it. <laughs> uh, I show you uh, some other things also. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm just trying to tell you. I know that one, but continue. Uh, okay. Okay. So let's move further. So uh, this is called linking, where we have some linked values, and we can see this, but today most of the times we use dashboards are you familiar with that yes not really not really i'm not too familiar with dashboards uh, so what happens in dashboard we have very small space because we have to present all the company's data in one sheet so we have some space problem because we uh, some graphs will be there and some excel data will be there so it's always messy to build uh, the, uh, the make the proper alignment in excel because when you uh, set this column the whole cells are get formatted with that so let's suppose we have this much of area for using and i want to show this much of data okay then how will i do it do you know anything for that Do you know anything for that? If I have to show so, you, 
this much of data in this? Okay, so, um, no, 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 I don't know. See, uh, it may be silly option, but <laughs> it is there. Uh, in paste button, you go as picture. Simple funda. I tell you why I am telling you this. We have option copy as picture or paste as picture. So the data <laughs> converted in picture and you know you can resize the picture. But it, I am talking about dashboards and showing you this so it will be silly you know. So let me take you another level just copy that data. Go with the last option. Go to as picture and paste picture link. And as a picture, it can be resized. You can set any size. But being a picture link, when you change the data, it will be changed here also. Okay. Not only the values, if you format the cells, even if you ch change the color, it will change you the change. It will show you the changed color also. I'm sure this kind of picture you have not never seen. Okay, okay this is a good one. <laughs> so this was the whole session about this paste special. Tomorrow we will continue with Excel customization and shortcuts, troubleshooting Excel problems. Okay, and. Huh?